power of a ghost, people. They can make a mouse go extremely rigid. To go down the spooky basement this time. I'll have to go down the stupid basement. It's my luck. Let's see, got most of it explored. It's downstairs in the basement. Oh, cruel ironing. As far as I can tell, the ghost also does not respond to sound. So you can basically make as much as you want. Since we jacked the difficult to hard. I seriously wonder what's going to change. Maybe more than one ghost. Maybe the ghost will try by a dark light, going rails, I don't know. I've never actually tweaked the difficulty setting before. So, uh, this will be interesting for both of us. door at two. Huh. Ghost Pierce move faster. They'll be down here soon. I think I just increased the ghost speed, as far as I can tell.
makes this game really scary. It's like all good horror games. It's the anticipation of what's going to happen as opposed to the actual, you know, happening. Oh, I need 30 bags. Spawn 30 bags? That's still the creepiest quarter in this house. Hmm. Steel doors are always a good sign. I told you guys it came in that room. So where's it now? Angrily checking out the lower floors. Cool. Safe. Ish. Gank that down back down to normal. Let's just go casual, ten bags. Actually see what the ending is. Twelve bags, spoke too soon. Game hates me. It's the only explanation. I always think that stupid tea cow is a bag when I walk in this room. Without fail, I'm not kidding. This is going to sound ironically funny, but this is the first time I've actually walked into this room. I don't know how I've managed that with all the playthroughs I've done, but... No, wait, it might be second time. architecture though. Oh shit, yeah, I would love to get that. <laughs> Where's the ghost? Looking right at you, dude! Ah, dead. On my part, that was probably the dumbest place to check where the ghost was. Because if it was coming or going from any stairway, I would have died. And I did die. Or whatever happens when the ghost catches you. Really leaves up to your imagination. I mean, maybe it bites you and you just, like, you know, walk around with a ghost biting onto your arm, you know, grab the rest of the bags. And walk outside and it crumbles to dust or something. Then you die a week or so later of some kind of ghost rabies or something. I don't know. I'm sure if I actually looked up the mythology. Door, why? Why do you hate me, Door? Every time that Door tries to kill me. I've done something bad to doors, people. I've done many bad things to doors. Now it's doors time to get revenge on me. Yeah, and I apparently I have learned nothing from the last time I have died. Like, absolutely, absolutely nothing.
Now, as I was saying earlier, like, this is the first version of the game I've gotten. But from a person I was talking to that got me interested in this game, he said the original version was quite a bit different. You didn't have this flashlight, because he never mentioned a flashlight. The way he described it was that this whole place was dark, and you just stumbled through the dark, wa and he had to watch out for this thing's eyes. Which is where the name of the game Eyes came from. And there's like very few lights, like this one here. And that's how you oriented yourself as you walked through this house. I don't know, I guess I would probably like to try that. So I'd like to go back down to the first floor, but I don't want to die in the stairwell. Yeah, I know I got enough bags, but gotta do something while I'm waiting to get down the stairs. Eh, yeah, hell, I'll make a desperate run for it. I'll die. Go outside, go outside, go outside. Oh, yeah, I made it. Totally worth robbing a house haunted. I got a spooky head following me. <laughs> Sequel! And, uh, well, there you go, guys. That's Eyes of the Horror Game. Hope you enjoyed my first Let's Play, and uh, hope, hope you subscribe and watch us for more of my videos. Have a great day.